Welcome to More Than Organized Monday. This week, I want to talk to you about smushing and particularly to stop smushing. So um, what do I mean by smushing? Is when you put so much stuff into one spot, you can't easily access the rest of the stuff. Pencil cup. Easy to grab my pink highlighter, my Sharpie, my Le Pen. But what happens if I add other pens to the mix? What if I keep stuffing it so full that I can't get anything in or out and then I drop my letter opener and or my staple remover and then you go to grab something and you gotta fight and it all falls apart. That's what I mean by smushing. How do you make things easily accessible, right? So that's part of categorization. What if I just pulled out my fatter Sharpies? And my magic wand. Did you know I had a magic wand? <laughs> it's great for eliminating clutter. Okay, so now, oh, one more, two more. Now I have two cups right next to each other that allow me to access the markers when I need them and the pens and other accessories when I need them, right? there on my desk where I can reach them. Notice, sorry, the, the <laughs> video is always opposite. And if I look at myself to see what I'm looking at, I can't do it. So I often go to people's houses or offices and this is what stuff looks like. There's stuff in stu front of stuff in front of stuff. So this is a little bit exaggerated, although not that much exaggerated. And it allows me to prove a couple different points by just looking at this assortment. They don't have a whole lot of things in common. There's sodas, there's laundry detergent, there's um, binders, there's a couple planners, there's my business cards, there's a ruler. Um, but look what happens. If, if I go to get something out, I'm gonna knock things over. We don't want that to happen. Um, and so we have to move things from in front. Now that's not always the case when they're in the way. Right here, I have a thing that doesn't get used very often. It's in front of my books because it's pretty to look at behind me while I'm shooting video. But it doesn't really have a purpose. It's just pretty and I want it to look there. But I access these and so I don't want stuff in front of them. So that's number one. When How can you grab things that are easy to use? <clears throat> and then, don't want to roll over my earbuds. I can hang them on the side of my cabinet and on a handy dandy magnetic hook on the side of the file cabinet. Easy access, always know where they are. What happens when you containerize something like soda cans? <clears throat> I'm using my ruler like I'm a teacher in elementary school. Um, I've never done that job before, just so you know. Um, I can store more cans in less amount of room if I don't put a container around them. Now I just grab the can I want, right? Now I can just grab the size I want, the flavor I want. When you use one of those can stackers, it goes this way. And it takes up twice as much across room and you can't reach the different flavors if you, unless you have a different one for every flavor you have, which for some of you may make perfect sense. It may be the thing that makes it easier for you to know when to shop. For me, I'd rather just line them up in a row, one row across, take them out of their rings, out of their case, one row across, they stack if I have to. Takes up less room. Put a container around them, they tend to be slightly flared. Did you know that? Some, most bins are flared. So it's a different measurement on the bottom. This one is about six on the bottom, but it is, oh my gosh, I can't even use a ruler today. <laughs> Seven and a half across. So you lose a whole inch and a half of space if you put these side by side. So you want to look for things that are more straight up and down. This one's a little more straight up and down, but it's still got this dent in it that goes around. 
So know that sometimes using um, the container loses space on your shelf, right? So, and it makes it harder to get in. Take your rings off. It's easier to do it once when you are doing that. And this allows you to see how much space you're going to need. You can lay it in and see how many will fit. It looks like you might be able to fit two six packs in here, but really you can only fit 10 cans. So uh, that's the other thing to think about when you're storing things or putting a container around things. Is it really going to make your life easier? Is there something with a lid that you're never going to open to drop something in? Or is there something that you won't use because you have to open it and close it all the time? Easiest way to describe this is the difference between a binder where you have to actually open the rings every time you need to put a piece of paper in. So binders are great for reference material. You create your own book that you can flip through and use. But while you're learning something or um, have stuff that you need drop in access because you do it frequently, sometimes just a file works better than a binder. So you can have the different things in here without having to open the thing every time you do some homework or add a piece of the puzzle if you're creating something. Sometimes the file works better. You just pull out the part you're working on. It has a holding spot. It goes right back where it went. I'm, of course, upside down and backwards, so it goes back. No problem. You know where it is. It takes up less the less or the same amount. Look, there's actually like three times more information in here than there is in here, and it takes up the same amount of space. All right, this is totally mislabeled, so don't look at it too closely. <laughs> when it's just me, I don't need to, my labels to be as extensive as if I had other people working with me that needed to access information. But Think about, is it space? Is it drop-in? Are you going to open the rings for the binder? That's the kind of thing you want to think about. And what I think about when I talk about smushing. Um, also, <clears throat> do you leave yourself enough room to put your finger in something to grab it off a shelf? Here was my other example. I don't put something in front. It's a bottle of stars. It goes up top not in front. Um, but how packed is too packed? Do you have an easy way to grab things or do you have to squish things around to get your fingers in between? Your fingers take up space to grab things off the shelf, right? So think about that. Um, this is what I mean about smushing. Just because there is more room doesn't mean it's going to make things easier, right? Storing more doesn't always make it easier. Sometimes storing less using a little more space actually makes the, the whole process more enjoyable. Think about your schedule. When you build in buffer time and transition time and drive time, you're not as rushed and not as hectic as if you schedule everything down to the exact minute, right? You have a little flexibility. All right, <clears throat> last thing I wanna talk about is when does putting something in a container decanting something make sense versus not? If you're short on space, which one takes up less space? <laughs> if your primary goal is to make it look pretty, this, of course. If you are crunched for time, neither of these is the best solution because you have to take the jar off and you have to squeeze the lid. And I would use a different lid style if that were true. Or um, I might use liquid so the jar was easier to undo. So think about these things when you are setting yourself up in your workspace, whatever you're working on, does this container make it easier? Does it take up less space? Can I easily grab the thing without moving 12 other things if it's something I use frequently? And is it something I'm going to bother to use? Will you be the kind of person that actually takes a lid off a hamper to put your dirty laundry in? Or are you the kind of person that just needs something open to toss in? I'm open and toss in personally, but I'll leave it up to you. In the meantime, have a delightful day and I'll see you next week.